بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله in the previous video I have explained to you how actually the neurological function within our body actually affects our change and how the science of epigenetics and psycho neuroimmunology this new sciences is showing us that the interplay of the various hormones is affecting our physical mental emotional and spiritual self at the highest level right, from the islamic perspective for the atheist perspective is only at the conscious and the subconscious mind eh? and to effect that change there is this process of how we are going to move from our all negative self to the uh, new positive self how are we going to use all the faculties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us that means our spiritual potential emotion uh, cult, uh, that means spiritual the roh potential the cult potential the akal potential and then the jasad potential all right so if we look from this holistic perspective Islam has the best answer to this and then I'm going to explain to you the positive Islamic psychology change process and inshallah then you can understand what I'm saying about now, how the interplay of our conscious, subconscious and supraconscious mind affects our nature of existence on this earth. Eh? So if we look at PIP, Positive Life Psychology, positive, uh, positive Change Process, we have to change. The whole nature of existence is continuous change. So if we have the old self, assuming that we are, we are now say about 35 years old, or that we have this old self, all right or you could be 50 years old or you could be 25 years old you still have the old self all right then you have the new self so from the old self to the new self there is a change process all right and how this change process affects us is how we're going to go about to change because the old self is already thick into the process of the old for example the old self eh? the negative old self the negative old self all right uh, has bad habits we have bad habits that means we are so used to for example having the bad habits for example like all right in Malaysia you have this breakfast of nasi lama and teh tare and roti canai very high calorie intake and so on and we are laden with sugar with carbohydrate with additives and so on so we have bad habits in terms of food we have bad habits in terms of our lifestyle what do we do our bad habits we wake up in the morning first thing we see all the negative news oh this place got bomb this place got uh, tsunami oh this person died of uh, murder so every day we are feeding ourselves with negative input so our life is directed by our negative bad habits so the first thing you wake up in the morning open your facebook and then your friend says something bad about you you attack your friend or whatever and, and all that nonsense goes on all right you're wasting your life wasting your time but that is a habit and you also wake up in the morning also you wake up just like as usual you wake up in the morning you go to the same side of your bed all right then maybe you have the same breakfast maybe you have the same uh, routine rush to work go into a traffic jam curse and swear at the at the your other drivers and so on so you have these bad habits so this negative self and bad habits will then result in the psychological channel challenges of humanity in the 21st century so we have anxiety we have depression we have OCD we have ADHD you name it the whole range of psychological problems from the day the child is born until the day we die we have all these psychological challenges so when we are facing this all these psychological challenges what happened to our physical body our physical body is chronic diseases so we die of cancer we die of heart attack we die of stroke we die of diabetes we die of so many things that causes our death all right so then when all these are taking place what happened to our life then we have a failure in life that means we fail in our relationship we fail in our marriage for example uh, we go into divorces and so on we fail in terms of our career we just become a nobody in a career we can be somebody but we end up being a nobody in the career because of all the other challenges that we face and then in life we get frustrated we get frustrated with life we get anguish in life we get worry in life and a lot of them when they cannot take it either they go mad or they just jump from the highest building they commit suicide and that is happening in large numbers all over 
not uh, all over the developed world the so-called world that is so advanced all right so how are we going to get out of this old self go through the change process to the new self so we have to move so in positive Islamic psychology we have two flow eh? the two flow are simultaneously simultaneously at two flow eh? so we have this two flow this is flow a all right this is flow b okay so we have two flow all right we can see that these two flow consist of two stream of thoughts the first flow is just from atheists those who don't believe in god those who don't believe in a higher power their flow is basically all right they have this physical body all right they have this emotion emotion uh, mental body all right they have this emotional body but they don't have this so the first flow here they don't have the spirituality here so they only have the PEM the physical body the mental body and the emotional body okay because they don't believe in God the spiritual body needs a belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or divine creator or you can call him the supreme creator the most intelligent creator all the sifa of Allah you can all right so this flow is where the physical body the mental body the emotional body is toxic with all these things so you have this flow that is now relating to all these things eh? all this okay so how can you overcome your challenge in life because when your physical body is toxic your mental body is toxic your thoughts are negative your emotional body is uh, toxic that means you have all the negative qualities you want to change it to positive qualities it will be very difficult all right for the non-believers it's very difficult because you have no hope in the future you have no hope in a protector a creator a helper uh, and so on because for the muslims it's a different altogether you are using only your physical body to change your physical body all right you are using your physical as material being your material self your material self this is your material self that means your physical body your uh, mind or your uh, your brain and your emotion which is they package it as one without the higher power without god all right so this material body you want to use this material body to change your material body your physical self it's very difficult all right this material body has no power it is just particle it is a particle cannot change another particle uh, this is from quantum physics eh? so you you cannot change your physical self using this is even if you can do it is like a force feed like putting a intravenous tube and so on or last minute for example somebody is almost dying or for example of diabetics then he changes habit radically it's like a last minute kind of thing but it is not a joyful stream of beauty of change of happiness in the change process so that's why we find a lot of people they cannot change the bad habits remain the bad habits until they die all right so they will have all the problems of life that we see today because they rely on the material world to change their physical being the material world cannot change you only who can change you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the spiritual power energy from the akal al kulli all right that is coming to us to change our physical mental and spiritual body but from the Islam Islamic perspective we have start we start with the flow start with our spiritual relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we have the positive emotion to generate our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we can change our mental from the negative mental state to positive mental state using uh, muhasaba uh, tafakkur tazakkur tazakkur and tafakkur we do that and then we then change our physical state so we now are relying on the energy the nur from Allah and the protection from Allah Allah tells us uh, in the Quran Allahu waliyul ladhina amanu Allah is the protector of those who believe yukhrijuhum minaz zulumati lan nur I, he brings you from darkness from all this darkness of the old self to nur of the new self so you have a protector you have a helper you have uh, the nur which Allah shower to us through the qalb 
akal al-kulli and our roh so that is a power and muslims somehow do not understand that we are the most powerful people on earth because we have allah as our backer our protector allahu waliyul ladina amanu so he's going to protect us he's going to guide us he's going to solve all our bad habits so when we rely on allah we would then have the process of the feelings emotion or thoughts the positive feelings from the rim of the akal al kulli all right there's positive spiritual feelings positive emotional feelings positive mental feelings then affects our physical jasad and our jasad then will then change become a positive self we have good habits we from bad habits we switch to good good habits and this is a change process so it is not today you have a bad habit tomorrow you have a good habit it is a process of a continuous process of life that is life that's why in islam we have ibadah you don't just pray today tomorrow you don't pray you can't it is a whole process of ibadah ubudiyah to allah throughout your whole life so then you progress upward all right you have a spiritual acceleration you have your emotional acceleration you have your mental acceleration you have your physical well-being and wellness all right so then at that point allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower you with peace happiness joy all of you one right we were all one peace happiness so we have this whole concept we teach about love peace happiness care and share under our khalifa method and then we have the physical and health well-being and then we are success we are successful in our marriage bringing up our children our grandchildren we are successful in our relationship with our relatives our friends our society with the world we are we are uh, our relationship with the birds the bees the ecosystem all in balance then we have a good career we have a good life and inshallah all that brings us up to a positive change which is a process which i will explain in detail how to go about with it inshallah in the subsequent video so remember we have this wonderful approach of to change from the negative self the old self to the new self regardless whatever is your age if you remember how to go about with it and i will give you some more tips on this we would then be able to have a wonderful life a happy life a healthy life blessed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always striving knowing that we are his sincere servant always connecting to him and we are his khalifa on this earth always striving to make ourselves good helping others to be good and making the world good inshallah